Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again and who are we going to play as this time around? I think we're going to go as regular Lost this time. We did a few tainted Losts in a row. Let's go as regular Lost. Of course, this guy is significantly, significantly easier. Uh, one minute, I'm going to turn my mic down a smidge. I'm hoping, like, it's not too loud. I'm whispering in your ear right now, I apologise. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Um, yeah, as I said, previous episodes, I've had to fuck around with my mic because it's decided to be an absolute piece. Um, Grieve mode alt path requires both repentance DLC and screen animation API mod to work properly. Please verify you have both these installed. I don't. Like, wait a minute. Right, I fixed that. We got it sorted. I reinstalled all of my mods today just because I thought maybe it'll help with FPS and potentially fix the issue we were having with um, the curse collection mod being broken. So I hope it works, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, we're playing as the regular Lost today. I love the regular Lost. Uh, not quite as much as I love Tainted Lost, but I still love him. Uh, Holy Mantle and stuff makes, uh, makes for a good start to runs. Very good indeed. We've got a sack here. There's that fella. But yeah, he's reasonably easy. I'm not going to say that he's like a guaranteed win or anything, because he's really not, especially when you uh, manage to run directly into one of those guys. Uh, what exactly do you guys do now that you've dropped your load? Which is not a sentence I want to be say <laughs> saying very often. Oh, God. No. They didn't drop their load. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Oh, Lord. And for the question of the day, what's your favorite turn of phrase? That's 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 a good thing. <laughs> Dropping your load, I hope, isn't one of them. Um, <laughs> uh, camo undies is incredible here. I uh, have to be a little careful in grabbing it. I will grab it, though. There you go. And I think... I was about to say, these do give drops when they blow up, so... It's definitely worth grabbing them. Uh, yeah, camo undies, in between combat, we get a movement speed up, and we get a, an increase to rate of fire and damage at the start of every room. It's an absolutely fantastic item, um, and oh lordy lordy, we get Molten Dime here. Now I just have to try something. Yeah, if Molten Dime fails, it literally just breaks my Holy Mantle, that's all. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, this is an interesting start to a run. This is a very, very interesting start to a run. Also, uh, what happened to my camo undies there? They just didn't proc. Like, I accidentally fired when I entered the room, I realized, but apparently that means they didn't proc at all. What the hell? I don't think so, game. Okay, there you go. Yeah, apparently, it doesn't work if you fire straight away upon entering the room. Don't you be firing your bouncy boys around. I won't be having any of that nonsense. But my, uh, like, t like, turn of phrase is, is difficult for me, because it's like my favorite saying or sort of thing to call people is a cockwomble. I think that is definitely one of my favorites, but that's not really a turn of phrase as such. Um, it's very hard to say, to be honest. Oh, Lord. I didn't realize those, um, wasn't great. This is really bad, yeah. That was such an awful, awful death there. Wow. I had no idea that they, uh, the tears from that guy accelerate as they move. That's a really, really unfortunate loss there, because we had something very interesting going on, potentially. Um, but it is what it is. That's, that's the lost. Can't get mad about it. Just got to carry on with your life. Um, but yeah, uh, I had no idea they accelerated. But yeah, I don't really know what my favorite turn of phrase is. There's so many. Just so many good ones. Um... Seraphim's pretty good here. I'll take a hug as well, good lad. Uh, not quite as good as Camo Undies plus Molten Dime, I've got to say. Molten Dime runs are always busted as all hell. Um, but still, not a bad start, not a bad start. We will try our best. Excuse me, game. Squeeze me. But yes, it is what it is. We get a Mini Isaac here to help us out. Use this barrel to kill these guys. Awesome. Sadly, the shop, not quite as viable this time around because we didn't get an insane item room with a ton of free money in it. <laughs> that item room is so busted if you have flight because you don't, you don't have to re-roll anything and you get all the money. Kind of great. Uh, chariot, I guess, is pretty good for the situation we just came across. Much easier boss this time. Yeah, that B boss is actually really easy, but that champion version of him 
I didn't really know what he did, and I did not expect the shots to accelerate like they did, and it was an unfortunate hit. And then, yeah, the second hit was just kind of me panicking over the, um, over the enemies that he spawned, which I do every time. I was speaking about this before. Wow, okay. Unfortunate, um, that... That's ha that happened there. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, we're just getting a ridiculous range upgrade. Excuse me, it wasn't even fucking gold. I had to reroll that because, I mean, Gulp's Trinket plus two soul hearts doesn't do anything for us. Um, range upgrade doesn't do much for us either. My god. Yeah, a little bit of an L to lose that first one. Oh god damn. Maybe go for the dice room? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. We got Fortune Telling Machine here. It's one of those things where it's like, it's sad to lose a run like that, but I can't dwell on it. I'm playing as the loss. That sort of stuff happens. And also as well, Molten Dime runs are like, kind of obscene. <laughs> They're like, kind of crazy. Oh, friendly sack. I absolutely love this thing. Whenever you buy every item in the Devil Deal, the Saint Statue will transform into a Fallen Angel. Uh, bombing the Satchel of Sauna, super, super hostile Fallen Angel, defeating him and giving you a random Devil item. I don't think we need that right now. Right. But yeah, Friendly Sack, probably one of my favourite items. Every third room we get a random little familiar friend, like a dip or something. I really like it. I think it's just a, a really, really fun uh, item. But damn, those flies can be really annoying. But yeah, Seraphim's a good start as well, to be honest. Early on, like, his shots do more damage than ours. And obviously, they have very strong herming because they're sacred heart shots. It's pretty gnarly. We've not had to do too much with re-rolling yet. Of course, one boss item re-rolled. But that's only because it literally would have been useless for us. But there you go. We got a mini Isaac as our first one. These enemies. Again... More enemies that just aren't compatible with my brain. <laughs> the, the way in which they move, oh boy, it freaks me out. I just can't, I can't hack it. But yeah, we should be able to keep the little, the little dudes we spawn from our friendly sack for a reasonable amount of time, depending on what we get, of course. But we can try our best to keep them around. Soul heart there. Got another mini Isaac here. I think Mini Isaacs and Dips are the most common, but both of those are stuff that I like having, so don't mind if I diddly do. Golden Bombs. Ooh, yeah. Try and get a crawl space here. Find a secret room if we can. Okay. We got the uh, error version of this room. I will take the pills. Full health doesn't matter. Retro revision doesn't really matter either. Blow you up. Really? Nothing dropped from that guy? Those guys normally give good loot. Um, I guess we go for the pots. Good. good. No quarter though. That is upsetting. Where are you, first secret room? Where art thou? I need to look for that crawl space as well. It's not super likely that you find it every time, but you've got to check. When you get golden bombs, you've just kind of got to be that guy that goes around the entire floor and bombs the hell out of literally everything in existence. Or at least I do. Um, secret room could be there. Or there. Probably here. Yeah. Go Tinted Rock, nice. Ow, you little shit. You quickly just hop back through. I don't know if you can get crawl spaces from rocks in the secret rooms, but I think you can. There's mushrooms anyway, so we might, we might as well check. Shop is looking slightly viable here. Bad gas, another full health. Full health. Full health. We'll check out what this is. Rerolls. Damn it, now I can't see what the goddamn thing does. Yeah, I'm going to touch it. More bombs. And another pill. Pheromones. Pheromones. 
Really? No pennies from that bad boy? And we unfortunately are clear here. Tears down. Pills. Why you gotta be this way? Come on now. There is absolutely no need for that level of disrespect. I respect you by taking you. Also, left hand here? Okay. Um, bomb there. The bloody car battery thing. Nothing here we want. Although, really, I should take the sack at three cent. Two keys. Makes up for the loss on the stuff that we got from the door. Okay. Right, let's get gone here. <clears throat> Beautiful. Probably reroll that, but I'll check my devil deal first. Frank cookie is definitely something we'll take. And yes, eye drops to recoup for that loss of fire rate there. Although we didn't actually recoup as much as we lost, which is slightly sad. But eye drops has another effect as well. Well, technically, kind of, where you you fire. It looks like you fire more tears. You might not actually, but it looks like it, and therefore I'm gonna count it as I do. There you go. This time we got a wisp from our friendly sack. All sorts of good stuff you can get here. I'm not used to not having golden bombs now. I was gonna blow up all these mushrooms, and I wait a minute. There's no point. This big boy is getting in my way, but yeah, prank cookie always good. Few extra tier effects in the mix. In the mix, don't mind if I diddly do. So apparently, I completely misunderstood this. So, it, it when you kill an enemy, it ejects a heart, and if you stand under the heart, it heals you. So for us, it's useless. Unfortunately, it did disappear. Um, I thought the hearts dealt damage to enemies that they landed on. Turns out, no, that's not the case. 3% um, chance to fire a tier that instantly freezes normal enemies. If you have more than three hearts and uh, you take damage each time Thorn Ring deals damage to you. Um, I don't, don't really think this can deal damage to us, can it? But 3% chance to fire a freezing tier seems good enough as of base, to be honest. Yeah, there you go. Look, I like that. A reasonably good trinket early on. We'll try and find our shop as well. In fact, let's just do the boss first. The It's this fella. Can we get you to jump into the uh, spiked rock here? We can, but it didn't really do anything. Also, I got hit there. Wow. Ooh, that was a really close brimstone on me there. Cheeky bugger. Grab that. Damage. Okey dokey. Things aren't going too bad now. We've got perfection now as well, which I don't think will affect our freezing chance, but uh, I have it now at least. It can be useful for item drops, but also useful for any tier effects we might get later down the line. Blood Void Machine. Goddamn so many trinkets right now. I'm sorry, but we do not have room at the inn. Your trinket extravaganza. Oh, poor little troll bomb. I love the way it does that. Poor little fella. Whoa, shit. <laughs> For some reason, even though I know what that enemy does, I just was not expecting that. That bad boy open. Holy hell. We don't have Mum's key, do we? Because that's an insane amount of money there. What the heck even happens? Keep our distance from this guy. It's okay. You lose the holy mantle at the end of the room. It means jack shit to us. Definitely need a little bit more damage output. Our damage right now is kind of meh. That was a very bad hit by me. For some reason, I didn't register, like, the cl You little spicy bean burrito. God damn it. Playing bad as the lost right now. Um, Yeah, if you didn't register what happened there... I destroyed a poop while standing over the top of it, and it spawned an enemy, which instantly killed me. <laughs> That's good. Thanks for that poop. Should have known that those poops can spawn enemies. Should have played it more cautiously. But I ain't about that life. Right, let's have a good lost run here. We had it, that first one. Really good, but I stumbled. I stumbled. 
anti-grav, yes please. People don't- people that don't like anti-grav are people that I cannot be friends with. I'm sorry, but it is true. Anti-grav is great. It's a plus one fire rate increase. How can you say no to that? Just tap fire if you don't like the anti-grav effects. Simple as a pimple. Like, come on now. Just tap fire for a much faster fire rate. Or you can form a barrage and fire a bunch of shots. Excuse me, why are you purple? Is that sure a champion? And you can set up traps as well. Like, look at that. They could do nothing to avoid me. Oh, shit. That's a very, very, very good... Uh, very, very, very good item there for us. Red Penny. Opening up red rooms. Using crack... Uh, like, Soul of the Soul of Cain whenever we pick up a coin. It can get real busted real fast. Very much like to have it. Like here, for example. Just set a trap. All y'all boys walk right into it. Waka waka, baby. Waka waka. Ain't no thang. Just a bit of waka waka. Yeah, I, I really like anti-grav. I think, I think as well it just has some really unique and interesting synergy potential. Like, not with a ton of stuff, but there is some, like, really cool synergy you can get with it. Guess I'll take a look in here. It's just a little cactus. Got to pick up all the pennies I see for the chance at my red coin to proc. It is imperative. I right, really should destroy all these fires as well, but ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Right, let's get out of here. We didn't fight the boss yet, did we? No. Uh, we might die here. Unfortunately, this boss is cancer incarnate. He just fills the room with so much bullshit, and there's like random crap coming in from every side of the screen. It's just like, for fuck's sake, dude, calm down. It's these little fellas that, that mess me up the most. Get your little buddies away from me. God damn. Whew! Some scared shitless didn't even die. Sadly, items there, not great. Sadly, we do not have the Tainted Lost equivalent of getting better items. It is truly upsetting. Ugh, come on, why? At least we can reroll it and potentially get something better. It's only a 30% chance to lose the item, so we will see. Yeah, slight damage up from that. We did indeed get a red key proc there. Lovely. I've just realised that we, we cannot get hit in this room, otherwise we uh we can't get out. Good stuff. Why? It's a 30% chance game. Don't be like this with me. Don't be like this with me. I will get very mad. Don't like these guys all summoning. I think Rainbow Poops will give me my Holy Mantle back, so... I can kind of keep those around if I get hit by this guy. I say that, but he's kind of doing his own thing with them. Come on, fella. There we go. Deaded. 30% chance fails us. It's so upsetting. Aha, you land right on that, you stupids. That guy landed right on that and blew up on me. Stupid me, I guess. See, red room there would have been great, but at least we saved a key. It opened up. Actually, we saved two keys. Okay, that was, that was pretty good. We saved two keys from that. Opened up all our doors for us. Slick Spade is pretty good. 
and dude 30 percent chance twice in a row it fails me Are you kidding also really bad hit there Yes, fire random spades. I don't know if it's affected by luck. In fact, I can probably check. Doesn't say specifically. It might be the... There you go. Stuff like that. Especially the nice ability to turn enemies into gold. I love gold. Giving us even more chances for our uh, red keys to proc. Or charm you. Or fear you. That's also a really good trinket right there. But I love gold. All I ever want is more gold. I like the yeah the, the resprite of the guys to just like add that like yeah, that ventricle to the top of them. I said vein then I didn't, I didn't mean vein. Yeah, to add that like ventricle to the top of that to their sprite, it's really cool. Fear on you, good lad. Fear on you. Very good item for a change. Better. Definitely better. Right. Let us, let us go. Let us go. We've got a good amount of money here, so shops are going to be valuable to us. Try our best to make them work. We get all the gems we can to upgrade our daggers. Of course, you have to re-upgrade it each floor. The daggers can be pretty darn useful. We'll try our best with them. Of course, they're a little inaccurate. But it's useful extra damage, so I do not mind. Certain enemies uh, drop a lot of those um, a lot of those lovely red gems as well. Also, the, the sound it makes is just really satisfying. So even just the sound that we get from it is quite lovely. I will save this. Oh, we got... This is tempting. Our trinket right now is real good, but that's plus one damage. I think really I ought to stick with what I have. Because I have good damage already. He's gold now. Come on, trinket. Trigger a little more. Make it worth my while, please. Still. I'm gonna stick with it. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. This room... Ah, this room's really, really bad for us. So much herming. We got a cracked key there, lovely. Um... Yeah, we'll take the broken shell. And we'll reroll that. Charge up a monstrous lung style tear burst while you're firing, releasing. Okay, that's terrible. When hit spawns a red poop as well that you don't get any protection from. Pretty awful. I'll go for a reroll on that again. Cracked. That was a gigabomb. Oh lord. Hey, we found it. Nice. Keep it going with those gemstones, baby. Another upgrade for our dagger. I think this is max rank now. Oh, I went the wrong way. Does it set people on fire now? I think my dagger sets people on fire now. It does. Awesome. Max rank dagger for the win. Baby. Hey, there you go. Bunch of red rooms unlocked. It's just so good. So good. And that is also so good. So good. Keep forgetting I've got gigabombs here. Okay, we're in a real good spot now. Of course, our fire rate has been lowered a little bit. But that doesn't matter too much to us. So, we sacrificed those other two runs, but we got something... We got something in return that we quite like, so I don't mind. And we get sign... We get golden... Sinus infection. I have no idea if it being gold has any way on how often it works, but sinus infection is very good, and with herming, it's even better. I know, I know they already have herming on on them, but it's like double herming now. With the damage we have, 
very happy with that. Oh, wait, we got that dagger to another rank. This is like max, max rank. Okay, dokily. Very happy with how things are progressing right now. What are we on time-wise? So can we do boss rush? Because boss rush would be quite good to do here. Bit of bleed on you. Lovely. We never went to our shop. Perfection, I honestly don't think we take right now. I think we've actually got something really sort of good going on. Um, I'm going to quickly hop back to the shop. We get BFF, which I'll take. Makes our bomb fly a little bigger. I'm also going to quickly go back and reroll that item once more and see if we get anything good. Dead Tooth, it's not that much better, but I'll take it. Right, let's speed along now. We are on Catacombs 1. We're a little bit slow. We're a little bit behind, but not majorly so. We can definitely make up time with an Emperor card. If we find our item room and shop quickly enough. Yeah, I'm going to leave Perfection. I think this run, we don't need it. We've not got any tier effects that, that rely on it, apart from maybe Slick Spade. Um, I will definitely take that. Dude, I might die here. Okay, no. Well, I saved myself with a Gigabomb. Got us off a spin down dice here. I'll take that. That was close. Most certainly a close one. If my little bomb dude had a slightly larger explosion than I expected, but then again, he is a fool's girl. Not fool's girl. It's fool girl rock. He is a BFF'd boy. Not again, little raindrop boy. Not again. Not this time, my compadre. This is such a damn good uh, effect. So many coins there. What? Don't really want to open that right now. Trying to look for somewhere to use this fucking cracked key, but the game is just not really playing ball. This out, nothing in here. Three of these boys. Rare. Grotto beast. Grotto beast. Grotto beast. No cards in here, sadly. Reroll didn't really reveal anything decent either. Grab that. Quickly grab that again. Yeah, my little bomb dude kind of tried to screw me over there. I won't hold it against you, little fella, but if you keep doing that, I'm going to have to call the authorities. I'm going to have to call the, 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 the board of familiars and tell them the shenanigans that have been going down. You'll be on the list with Bumbo, I tell you. Bumbo drops random bombs on, 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 his, on his friends, and people have reported him in the past for that, and you'll be on that watch list. Do you really want to be... On the, on the watch list with Bumbo and at the top of that list, Bob's Brain. I, I really don't think you do, my good friend. Again, look there. That was pretty cheeky. Pretty cheeky. I think I think you're going to find yourself um, on some hard times if this sort of behavior continues, I swear. Tech Zero is probably pretty worthwhile, I think. Probably pretty worthwhile. Oh, good. Leveled up our dagger as well for the fight. Got it up to the level where it's shooting out fire now. And we get meat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a damage up. I'll take it. It's, it's good enough. It's not great, but it's good enough. Right. Now I think we have to start kind of speeding along. We're on Necro. 
Actually, we're at 12 minutes. That's not so bad for where we are. I What have I told you, Broken Shell? You're going to end up on a list. And you're not going to like it. I think BFFing him has given him... Giving it, giving him a little bit too much confidence. He thinks he's the main character now, but you're not. You're just a little helper. You're, you're, you're always will be. You can't be going around dropping bombs wherever you gosh darn feel like it. It's not the way that we operate. It ain't the way that we do things. You especially can't be dropping bombs after the enemy dies. Soul Cleaver is pretty good. Um, it'll spin down to Veil of Darkness, though, which is damage and one of those random items. I'm going to take that. <sighs> Unfortunately, the item we got was pretty trash. And the damage was not modified at all by our damage modifiers, which is slightly upsetting. Um, Lizzie. So now we have Permanent Curse of Blight, which is not the greatest thing to have, I'll be honest. But it's, it doesn't, it doesn't devastate me. Good. Oh, I left my Emperor card on that last floor. I should have noticed. More money there. Okay, this time you're allowed to drop a bomb on this guy. It seems the BFF version can just do his thing twice. Snake oil. We got... Is that Mum's knife there? I think it is. It is. Nice. Oh, we got... Strange anti-grab Mum's knife. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, we got... Um, I think we've actually got two synergies... From the Mum's Knife Additional Synergies mod. Um, Mum's Knife. Let me check. Mum's Knife Synergies. Um, Anti-Grav. Holding down the fire causes the knife to stay at your current location. And Tech Zero. Shoots a laser between similar type technology. So we've got two unique synergies on Mum's Knife here. I, I'll be honest... I think I hate it. <laughs> like, it's not... It's not herming for some reason. Like, the anti-grav seems to entirely, entirely overwrite the herming that this thing would normally... Like, the whole reason I took this is because the herming with Sacred Heart is obscenely strong. And it seems to have completely omitted all of that. This is... This is bad. <laughs> this is really, really bad. I mean, I'm glad there's a custom synergy for it, but it's a terrible synergy. Like, I have to, like, get right up in the enemy's face to hit them correctly. It is what it is, though. I'm still very strong. That's nice. The Tech Zero is, is helping a lot, I'll be honest. But the fact that it's removed my Herming is no bueno. Big no bueno. Like, why is the knife over there still? It doesn't return back to me. Look at, look at that. It stays over there. If I hold down my knife, that's not where I want it at all. Oh, Lord. And it, like... Ah, oh, this is this is kind of awful. <laughs> I hate myself for this. I took it for the fire rate increase for getting there'd be a custom synergy. I also didn't know the custom synergy would be so detrimental and run destroying. <laughs> of which it is kind of both. I've completely lost my ability to herm. It now doesn't really go where I aim it. I kind of now have to get really, really close to enemies to hit them. It's it's all it's all sorts of bad.
all sorts of bad. Let's do this room and re-roll that again. Like, I didn't even hit- how did I not hit that guy? I have to like, stand in front of them, line up and then shoot. And then again, it doesn't hurt. Do not like that. Really? Gambled there, it did not pay off. This is- yeah. We've turned a very good run into a very, very mediocre run. Really, that disappeared as well? Okay. Like, if I'm moving and firing, look at this. It goes behind me. Why would I want this? <laughs> it's just that, like, my biggest upset is just the fact that homing with the mum's knife is so insanely good. And it's completely removed it. And it keeps goddamn getting stuck in random positions. Like, I can't even hit these enemies. I, like, can't hit them. This is awful. This is actually horrific. Like, the damage we output when we hit things is pretty incredible. Hitting things ain't easy. What the fuck just happened? What the hell's this? What? I didn't even get Polaroid or negative. Nah. Nah. This run is bullshit. I, I, <sighs> the fucking secret disc gave me a fucking item that uses cards on killing enemies. I used the reverse Wheel of Fortune and I got fucking teleported to the error room. At least I think that's what happened. This is so AIDS. I hate this. <laughs> this run was going so well. Is it, Wait, did Bugger Tears normally work as well? Or is Bugger Tears another? Sinus Infection. God damn. We've got three unique synergies. Like three modded synergies with Mum's Knife that would normally do nothing. <sighs> I guess we have to do Hush. In order to actually get some completion marks here. Thank you. Take that goddamn free trial away from me. How dare you. But you can see the knife trying to curve for Herming. I'd say the thing that I hate about this most is obviously losing Herming is very annoying. But the fact that if I do this and then restart another... It shouldn't stay there. What's it... It just keeps getting further away from me. What's it doing? How... How is this intentional? How is, how is this how this should work? No. No, no, no. I can't, I can't believe that's how that, that should work. This is, oh, oh there was a spike drop there. God damn, that's close. It also seems to fire below me. This is just such bollocks. <laughs> yeah, that like, look at that. Look how far below me that spawned then. Like, why is it so far below me when I enter the room? If I fire as soon as I enter the room, it spawns at like an off angle. This is so gross. <laughs> I thought this was going to be interesting. Turns out I just made the crappiest synergy out of the best items I could. Thank you for making the synergy. But also, why? <laughs> Did you have to make it this terrible? My, my, my question is, is it intentionally terrible? Or is like it not being able to hum and it getting stuck when you fire repeatedly? Are they just bugs? I, I just don't know. I'm assuming that if they are bugs and it's not meant to do that. I just don't see a world in which anyone... Would, would intend for this to be the, the, the way that this works. Honestly, I'm doing most of my damage with Tech Zero. I'm not even really using the knife that much.
Moxie head. Pretty good. Ugh. I mean, one thing that's kind of interesting about this, I guess, is I could, like, sit the knife on top of... Like, I could just leave it there and, like, sit it on top of Hush. Which is kind of good. I need more range so that I can, like, just tap fire. And it'd be a bit more useful. Honestly, if I didn't have Tech Zero, this would be so much worse. At least I can use that to, like, set up a line of electricity between me and the boss. What it should do, in my opinion, is instead of instead of holding on you charging, when it's in mid-flight, you should be able to hold it down to stop it at a certain distance. So, like, I fire it at full distance and say, this is me firing it, and it chains the electricity between, and it stays there until I let go, and then it comes back to me. That's how it should work. The way that it works currently is very balked. Very, very balked. Do not like. Hopefully we can go the right way here at some point. I see I see the idea of this room. Can you shut, please? At any point, could you shut? I apparently have to fire at you for you to shut. How am I not hitting this guy? It's like a little round blobby boy. That is very frustrating. This was also the wrong way. Love it. Yeah, if I could stop it like at the peak and then just leave it there, that'd be great. But instead, I can hold it where the knife starts, which seems to be just an absolutely bizarre decision for how that should work. Really? Wrong way again? Ugh. <laughs> this has become like a, an absolute challenge run. I have no interest in completing this room. Use the laser. <clears throat> Bloody hell! Get over here, you shit! I can't be moving around this room like this all the time, and I can't even fucking aim at you. Knife back in my hands! Fuck's sake! Stop taking it off me! It's not what I want at all. It's not what anyone wants at all. Taking the goddamn knife away from me. Put it back in my hands. This is going to be bloody tricky. But that I can do, look. I can just hold the knife there, and it just kills instantly. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll take it. Or Babylon. Yeah, good. Right, hush time. Hush, mush, hush, mush. I only have four keys, unfortunately. Um, Slippy Tooth? Yeah, Slippy Tooth is fine. Wailing Leech, or whatever this is. Little Dumpy. Okay, Little Dumpy's pretty good. Have a key here. Second. Duh, 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 duh. Let's take the Yarrow Rune. 
for something, I guess. Leave that there. <laughs> Chill out over here for a bit. You gonna move? Yes, you are. You go, put that there. I, I love the fact that it stacks up bugger tears as well while it's doing all this. Now he is gonna move somewhat, like randomly, but. We're just going to leave that knife there. Situations like this, it's great. But you should be able to do this with the method that I proposed anyways. I shouldn't have to stand where I want the knife and then fire it. I should be able to fire it into the position I want and then hold it there. This is so backwards. <laughs> Ah, oh, for God's sake, he's moving. Luckily, he didn't move off the knife, though. He's still on the knife. There you go. Very easy kill on this guy. And we're going to have to do the void now. Because, um... We don't have the negative or the Polaroid. <laughs> so, we've got to go try and do the void. But I'm very apprehensive about being able to actually get the void done. I'll be honest. I will try my darndest, but... I have to say, I'm not all that hopeful. <laughs> Be interesting to see a, a machine added to Isaac that lets you purposely remove like a selected item. A mod that just lets you like pay to remove a specific item. Because sometimes you pick up stuff you don't want. This little fucking buddy here is going to kill me, isn't he? Come here, my dump buddy. Get gone, please. Can't remember what you guys do. I don't want anything to do with it. At least I can fire it and then, like, wrangle my way around it to deal electricity damage. I think Delirium himself is going to be an absolute nightmare to fight, I'll be honest. I think that's going to be really rough. Oh my god, this guy. Anything that moves consistently is so difficult to hit. Do you guys teleport? You do, don't you? Oh, this is awful. I can't even leave the knife in one place to get this done. Sick. I'm probably going to die in this room here, aren't I? My goodness, that was annoying. Okay, at least we have our daggers at like full rank from that room now. So we can at least fire it with our daggers. At least get some amount of damage with them. 
Also, yeah, I, guess I was just about to say, where the hell's our boss rooms at? We're kind of missing them right now. Why the fuck is my knife over there? What are you doing, knife? I was kind of hoping it would just be delirium, but sadly, ain't so lucky. This guy's got some wacky attacks as well, so I've got to be careful. Final phase. I don't really know what you do on final phase. Little Dumpy helped me out there. Oh god! Oh, it was so fucking close. That's foul good, sadly. Didn't do anything for us. Take me to the real boss. This is not the real boss. Dad's battery. If we get a good active, that's potentially useful. What's the likelihood of that? He's teleporting little miscreants. If it wasn't max level before, it's definitely max level now. Didn't do anything for us anyways. Where is my buddy Delirium? I'm looking for my friend Delirium. Could somebody help me? Spider eggs. Why is it always that I go the complete wrong way with uh, with trying to find delirium? Always, always way off the beaten track. Uh, whatever this is, I hate it. A, a very cool looking room, but also a very stressful room. Back over here, I guess. Excuse me, that's my Yera. I don't, I don't know what I'm holding on to this Yera for. I have no idea, I'll be honest, but it's my Yera and I want to keep it. Honestly, I think we should take that uh, trinket there that ups our bomb damage. Oh, wait, no, what? What does this do? I guess. I don't know if that's going to work for us, but I'll take it. I can spawn random eye of the occult, so I'd be happy, but I doubt it's going to do anything for us. Mate, why? Why on earth is the boss so goddamn far away? Also, this is a very awful boss fight. Well, boss room. It's not really a boss. It's a tainted enemy, but still. Very frustrating tainted enemy. Finally got through it. My tactic for Delirium is try and set up a knife somewhere to get as many bugger as on him as I possibly can. Don't know what these guys do. Some sort of herming shots, apparently. Here he is. Right. Now I stay the hell away and hope he just runs into that knife for a bit, I guess. I really don't know the best way to do this. It clearly isn't this, is it?
my goodness, this is stressful. Oh, what? What the hell broke my goddamn... Did one of these goddamn shots go over the rocks? This is just... This is just horrendous. <laughs> It's just so gross. <laughs> what are you doing over there, bro? <laughs> Can you stop? I lost my little dumpy. Need him back. He's like literally the only thing possibly keeping me alive here. Explosive shots, stay the hell away from them. Those are spiders, stay the hell away from them. Just, it's just all confusion, isn't it? Like, Mum's heart, what are you doing? There's also some red poop in there that I really don't like the prospects of uh, seeing again. Why is there a horsey now? Mum's heart, can you fuck off and, like, give me a version of you that I can actually get fucking near? Is evil. That horse fucking version of you is still flying around as well, for fuck's sake. Finally got the goddamn horsey. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Yeah. Dude fucking brim snapped me. Uh, <laughs> that was... That was horrendous. That was just the grossest run. Like, if you look at my items, even even if you include Mum's knife and everything, that looks like such a god tier run. No, 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 my children. I ruined it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.